Hello, you're watching Got Space Game, and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the F-18 Hornet, showing how to fire the AMRAM at multiple targets in TWS radar mode. As always, control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Let's begin. Check master arm on, air to air mode. Weapon select right to bring up your AMRAM. AB or AC indication shows you've got the AMRAM selected. In this case, we're using the AIM-120C. On the left screen, bring up the azimuth elevation view. On the right screen, set the radar mode as TWS for track while scan. This allows us to engage multiple targets at once. There's our first radar contact, and now it's bugged, which means that the plane is tracking it as the primary target. That's indicated by the small star inside the radar contact. We've got AMRAM launch symbology both on the HUD and on the right screen. We've got triangles on the outside of the range clock and the range bar on the radar screen showing when we can launch our missile. The important markings here are R min for the minimum range, R max for the maximum range and R no escape. If you fire at a target within its no escape range, you're almost guaranteed a kill. The tick mark inside the range circle shows our current range. We're well outside of the maximum range so this is yet to wind down. The RAID button gives us a zoomed in view of the area around the currently bugged target. Note that each target has a priority number. Note wheel steering button will cycle through our radar contacts in priority order. The bug target has its altitude to the right of it and its Mach number to the left. Press the RAID button again to see the full radar view. Note some other important information on the HUD. We've got our closing velocity which is our relative speed with respect to the target and we've got our range in nautical miles. A negative closing velocity indicates that the range is increasing. The bug target is displayed on the HUD with either a square or a diamond around it. This depends on its IFF status, we'll cover that in another video. The steering dot shows where to point your plane in order to get lead on the target. Keep an eye on the target in the azimuth elevation view, you might need to adjust your antenna elevation accordingly. Fly at full afterburner to get the most range possible out of the missile. We're in range... now! Either an in-law or a shoot indication on the HUD shows that we can get a hit if we fire a missile. Let's get a bit closer though to guarantee a kill. As I get closer, I'm going to decrease the radar range. Looks like the second pair of targets is also in range, so now's a good time to shoot. Fox 3. Nose wheel steering to bug the next target. Fox 3. Next target. The ACT timer counts down to the missile going active and supporting itself, and then it will display TTG. This indicates the predicted time until the missile hitting. FOX 3. Nose wheel steering, but it cycled back to the target we've already hit. We'll press it again, and get the correct target. Any missiles that you've currently got out will be shown as a small triangle on the radar display. And FOX 3. Splash the last pair of targets. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS in 3 or less from God's Face Game. Hit that subscribe button for more 3 minute DCS tutorials out every week covering all of your favourite modules.